Hello, Aquarius. This is your reading for the 21st to the 22nd. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. I'm going to pull some energy for you guys first, and then I'm going to refer to the vice versa tarot right here to pull energy for the person that is lurking around you energetically, um, coming towards you, and then we're going to see uh, what they want from you, okay? So let's see what's going on with Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? Please show me. The Emperor. Mm. Standing in your power. I think you guys are, are kind of focused on something that has happened in the past, though, here with the Emperor. Um, not moving much, but um, I think that you will definitely re respond to a situation or respond to an individual if need be, but I don't see you, you know, making any fast moves here, okay? And then we have the Three of Pentacles there. Um, I'm thinking that you're trying to figure out, you know, should you work with a certain group of people here? Maybe this has everything to do with um, a job or collaborating with someone here, okay? Um, but I, I'm, I'm getting that there's something, some past issue that you guys are really addressing right now. And, um, you know, working with a certain individual is kind of on a back burner, okay? Maybe a Capricorn individual here. Four of Cups is there, Cancer. Um, I'm getting that, you know, and you're kind of iffy about trying to work something out with someone because maybe there is, um, maybe there's this issue of whether or not this person will accept whatever it is that you have to offer. So you're really not budging right now. You're not moving. Um, or either you guys are thinking about a fire sign energy, maybe Aries, um, that has Capricorn, Cancer in their chart, maybe, um, that, you know, you feel like this person's not going to accept you for who you are, that they're not going to compromise with you, that they're very stubborn, um, they want what they want, and, you know, that's it, okay? Pull another card for that one. Mm. I'm getting that you guys probably feel like this person is dating, too, that they are not going to um, offer anything to you, period. They're not going to offer, and they're not going to accept. Is what I'm getting from you guys here. Then we have the King of Pentacles. Huh. Maybe you feel like they're in a relationship already and um, is committed somewhere else, trying to build um, a relationship somewhere else here. Let's see. Ace of Cups. Definitely, I feel you guys um, caring a lot for an individual here but that you're not really sure how this person will respond to you, okay? And then you're not sure either if this person has started over with someone else here. I'm getting that, the feeling that you guys feel like, you know, this connection with this individual cannot happen or, you know, that they won't allow it even. And then we have the Hierophant there. Mm. I'm getting, you know, a stubborn energy here. This person's set in their ways, okay? Either they're set in their ways or you guys are set in your ways. And, um, you know, just really not just accepting the other person for who they really are, um, wanting things you know, your way or them wanting things their way, um, traditionally. And, but I'm, but I'm getting that there is a relationship here that was very strong at one point. Um, could be a same sex relationship for sure. doesn't have to be, but I'm definitely getting that both of you guys are, um, standing in your masculine energy, um, a very controlled state. Okay, not allowing your emotions to completely just flood you and take over. Okay, definitely love between the two of you, but I'm getting that this person has their back turned currently. Let's see. And then we have the moon there. This person hiding their feelings, I do feel. 
definitely hiding their feelings um, from you guys, or you guys are hiding your feelings from this individual. This person does not know how the other one feels for real. Okay? Either you guys don't know how they feel for you, or they don't know how you guys feel about them. There's a lot that is hidden here. Okay? There's a lot of unknown um, feelings, a lot that has not been spoken in this situation. A lot that has not been spoken here. Okay? Let's see what this... I put that down. Let's see what this Knight of Cups is about. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here for Aquarius? Why is the Knight of Cups here? The King of Cups. Huh. Maybe you feel like this person is involved with someone and they're in an emotionally stable connection with this individual. Maybe you feel like they um, they are with someone who is older than them, even. Hmm. One more card for the King of Cups. Or maybe you just feel like this person um, is good by themselves, even, and they do not want to be involved with anyone else. But I'm getting strongly that you feel this person is with someone already that they're communicating with someone that they have changed even that they're not the same person that they used to be is what i'm getting from you guys that they may where where they were probably once very open and loving and flooding you with emotions that they're not that individual anymore very kind of not really reserved but they are definitely in control of themselves okay so let's, so let's see who's <clears throat> coming towards you guys. Who's coming towards Aquarius? Who's coming towards Aquarius? Aquarius. This Queen of Wands facing out of the reading has shown up in, I know, at least three or four of the readings. This is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy here. Facing away from the reading, showing no interest in um, the situation currently, okay? Hmm. But this person, I feel like there's a level of, of unhappiness with them. Um, maybe some mild depression even. Uh, and, and you're you're right. If you if you're thinking that this person has changed, they're not that loving. They're not you know that overextending um, person. They're they're not at this point. Okay, um, they're really not that in touch with their emotions currently. They're not. Let's see what they want from Aquarius. What does this person want from Aquarius? Hmm. <laughs> to fill their own cup here. To fill their own cup. This is what they want. To fill their own cup. This is the other side. Where they're giving and, you know, they're happy and they're sharing. Um, no, they're not sharing anything. Those two cups are down there. The water can spill out of them. They don't give a shit. Because they're holding their own cup here. Okay. Lots of cards want to fall out here. And then we have the Knight of Swords going away. Okay. Starting something somewhere else. Um, they're going away. Taking their cup with them. Walking away. Not trying to engage at all in conversations. None of that. It's like they're, they've been enlightened somewhere else. They're going towards some other truth. They're not trying to engage whatsoever is what it's looking like here. Okay? So we may have um, another Aquarius like you guys. Or this person may be Aries, Pisces, um, but has some air in their chart here. Um, Cancer's here. I think I said that, Scorpio, Energy, Taurus, Sagittarius, Capricorn is here. Okay, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.